Hey, what's up? It's Ryan Oakley here from photographyontheside.com and this is the free online course Create a Gorgeous Photography Website with Smugmug in 90 Minutes. In this step, we're going to set up our site settings, create our menu bar, and our social media profile. Okay, now that our portfolio gallery has been created and we've uh, sorted our photos by our favorites uh, to be at the top, we can go ahead and click Done and we're going to start um, customizing the look and feel of our site. Um, which is very exciting. So after you click done, you'll kind of come to the the, da the main dashboard of the site. It shows you the site, but it also gives you um, the options to organize, which is where we just were and customize and stuff. First thing uh, we want to do is to click under your site name and go to profile. And we're going to change a few things in here. So I'm going to go ahead and change my name to Clark Kent Photography. Uh, the site name becomes that as well. I'm going to go ahead and um, put in my contact email. And this is important because we're going to use a, a contact me link in the menu bar, which is going to automatically um, 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 create this pop-up form, um, which people are then going to be able to send you a message. So we need this contact email in here so that that can work. Uh, so that's important. A profile photo, we're going to upload that uh, in a later step. And I think that's all we really need to do on the About Me side of the portfolio and go ahead and click on the social part. And this is where we're going to enter our social media pages. So, um, you know, a lot of people are on Facebook. So if you have a, a specific Facebook page that uh, you want your visitors to visit you on, um, you can point them to it through this link. So a lot of people would have Facebook.com, for instance, forward slash Ryan Oakley Photography. Um, I'm, I don't have obviously a Facebook page for Clark Kent photography because it's a, a dummy site. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do facebook.com so that at least the, um, the uh, icon of uh, Facebook is going to appear on my page. And I'm going to do that for a couple other um, social media uh, sites as well like Twitter, googleplus.com. I mean I could just kind of write in any uh, hyperlink and it would work. We'll do Instagram too. And Pinterest. So again, you would actually not just type in, you know, Pinterest uh, or Facebook.com. You you type in Pinterest.com forward slash Ryan Oakley Photography or, you know, something something that would uh, send people to your specific page. And I think uh, I'm good with that. So I'm going to hit save. Changes have been saved. Please verify your contact email by visiting the link in the email that we sent to your address. So. Um, yeah, you're going to want to go open up your, uh, you know, Gmail or Outlook or whatever it might be and um, make sure your uh, contact, um, you click the link in the contact to verify your email. And, uh, and I'll do that behind the scenes. Okay, the next thing we want to do is go click customize and we're going to go ahead and customize our site. And gives you gives me a little tips here. Um, you want to really want to want to pay attention to um, this top right hand um, section here because it's going to tell you what page or pages you're actually customizing. Um, so sometimes we're customizing the home page, sometimes we're custom customizing a folder page or galleries or specific gallery. Um, what we want to do is kind of make sure that we're on for this section anyways, um, start on the entire site. So that's going to allow us to change things like the uh, uh, the menu bar and the social media stuff right here. Um, so before we go into that, uh, go ahead and click the settings button. And we're going to be making some, some settings changes here. So the first thing you want to do is give your design a name so that you can, um, if you are doing uh, different different things with different designs, you can come back to this one easily. So, um, you know, Clark Kent Ludwig design, something like that. I, I keep the um, the original design that we chose uh, when we first signed in with SmugMug in the design name so that I know what the design was based on if I ever want to go backwards. So. I write in Ludwig in there. Uh, so the Smug Mug header is something that's on by default, and basically it's a it's a bar on top of every Smug Mug page that if you don't turn it off is kind of annoying in my mind. So I'm gonna go turn that off. The Smug Mug footer, I'm gonna turn that off as well. But Smug Mug wants you know something on on the site, so I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, go to the live site, 
And at the very bottom, you see in the bottom left hand corner, you got photo sharing by SmugMug and a login link. And uh, they won't let you remove that, so we're going to have that on, and so you just got to decide where you want it to be on. I'm going to have it on the left. Independent home page, I'm going to leave that off. That's a, a special feature. Um, gallery style. <clears throat> the default gallery style, um, which we looked at earlier when we were looking at our gallery settings, um, for this theme, or for this design, is that set as thumbnails. Um, there's a few different options here, and I've looked at all of them, and, and some of them are, are great. Um, but for the purpose of a, of a uh, portrait slash wedding photography site, I, I find the smug mug view to be um, to be the best. And basically the smug mug view is uh, when we click into the client galleries and then go into one of our galleries. Let's look at this one. You'll see thumbnails will, will pop up on the left and a bigger photo will be on the right. And I just find this uh, really easy to navigate and uh, especially if you've got a big wedding and a lot of photos. Um, you know, you don't necessarily want th thumbnails or a journal style, but you can play around with it. But I'm going to um, leave mine or set mine as smug mug. And the favicon is something that uh, you can do later as well. And basically the favicon is the little icon that pops up, uh, shows up when somebody clicks on your site um, in, the, in the browser kind of tab. So we'll get, go ahead and click save on that. And now we're ready to start. Uh, mess around with some of the content on the site. Um, first thing I'm going to do is work on the navigation bar. Um, so what I did to get into the settings, you can do uh, either click on the wrench once you're highlighted over something, a different uh, element, a different block, and you can either delete it or you can move it around um, um, or click the options or dimensions. If you just click in anywhere in the top box, it'll by default um, go to the options. So um, click into it and we've got uh, basic and links. We want the, the menu bar to be horizontal for sure. We want it to be centered. The text size being medium is good. Everything else um, looks fine. Collapse for mobile is really important. And I'll show you what that uh, looks like on this site. Or you can open up the clarkkentphotography.smugmug.com on your iPhone and see this, but I can easily show you what this looks like. So basically, being a responsive design as I shrink my page, um, down to something that looks like an iPad and then eventually an iPhone, you'll see that my menu bar um, collapsed into a single menu link instead of um, you know a bun bunch of text wrapping over itself. And so this way on a smaller screen, someone can just click menu and all my uh, links pop up. And I think that looks really good. So I'm going to um, make sure that the selection for collapse for mobile is left on. In the links, this is where we're going to create our, our uh, specific links. Uh, we can go ahead and delete browse and delete search. I'm not going to use those. I'm going to keep the home one just fine. And we can create a couple of our links because we've um, we've created our portfolio gallery and our client gallery. So first thing, the first link I link I want after the home page is the portfolio link. So that's the name of it. As you can see, it uh, changes um, are, are shown up there. And what do we want it to link to? We want it to link to a page that I choose. And the one that I choose is obviously going to be our portfolio gallery. So I select the portfolio and I click done. Open link in a new tab. Uh, no, I don't want people to have a bunch of tabs open uh, as they click through my nav navigation bar. It's okay that the they go to the new page in the, in the tab that they're in. So leave that as off. And instead of clicking done, I'm going to go hit the back button here, back to links, and uh, add another link. And this time we are going to create a link called client galleries. And again, we're going to link to a page that I choose. And this time the page is going to be the folder called client galleries. So I say done to that, include folder content. So if I click this on, what will happen is it will create a, a drop down menu where um, you know, it'll show the five specific galleries that I have under client galleries. And I, I don't necessarily want that on. It's okay if somebody um, wants to find their gallery, they'll find it um, through the client galleries page. So I'm going to click done for that. Now there's obviously going to be a couple more um, links we're going to add into our menu bar, the work with me page and a contact me. Um, but I'm going to do those a little bit later. Um, the next thing we're going to change and customize is our 
social media buttons and our, how our social media um, icons are displayed. Um, we don't have a title for the social media, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, we've already, um, because we've set our social media profile, uh, the links, uh, it's already selected the specific links um, in this section, which is great. If we go to display, uh, horizontal is good, small icons, I like small icons, we don't want it to use too much of the page, but I am going to use the circular circle icons instead of the square, and the reason I do that is just to, you know, that's a very square site um, right now, good clean lines, so I want something to, you know, round it out and soften the page, so by changing that to circular you can see that those change, and that's great. Alignment, instead of to the center, I'm going to align this to the right, I want my um, Oh, you know what? We're going to be changing all of this, so we'll leave this as center, sorry. Um, and the color can be um, uh, left at default, but some other options are um, these other colors that we'll set later. Okay, so that's social icons. We can go ahead and click done for that. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do in this video. Um, you can go ahead and click done, and you can either publish the changes now or publish them later. I'm going to go ahead and publish this now, assuming this is, um, you know, you've created this site from scratch. Publishing it now will make the changes live, but uh, generally that uh, um, doesn't matter because you're, it's a brand new site. You won't really have any traffic anyways. Um, you can use the publish later um, choice if you want, but I'm going to go hit publish now. And um, the changes are now done. And uh, so that's the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to be changing the colors and the look and feel of, of the site.